Hello guys, welcome to a new video. And in this video, we will be starting a first video of a series that is interview preparation using JavaScript. How you will crack the interviews? For that, we are making the videos. Your work is to share it with your friends and learn from all those stuffs. And if you have any doubts, you can comment in the comment section. So let's start the video. So uh, today's video is what is the difference between null and undefined? It is frequently asked in the interviews. For that reason, I have added this video as the first video. So let's see that first and understand. So I have opened my VS Code and here I have two files that is index.html and another one is script.js. In script.js, we will be writing our JavaScript codes. I have linked that here you can see at the last I have linked it. So I can use this. Let's define an undefined value. Okay. So for that, you need to write a variable. Let us assume the variable name is uh, x and I will not give any value to that x. That means this means undefined means we are declaring the variable but we are not assigning any value to that when we use this kind of thing we use this kind of thing in a situation where that value is not confirmed right now but in future that value can be filled with some data in future like we uh, like we are defining a value a variable you can say in an interview when anyone asks you where we use null or undefined value so you can say as an example we are defining an array or you can define a you can say we are defining a value x Maybe that x value needed to be fetched from some database and it will have some value. And when that value is there in our hand, we can assign that to x. So you can give the answer like that. So for that scenarios, we use undefined value. Then they can ask you the second question, then why we use the null value? So you can answer to that question like null is a value that is known as empty value. Okay, we need to assign null. Null cannot be automatically defined. Like when we are defining x at that time, undefined is automatically added to the x value. But when we are defining the null, we need to specifically write that it is null. Like if I'll write here, x y equals to null i need to write like that and uh, at which kind of scenarios this is used if anyone is asking you can say like this null is used in a scenario for conditional rendering like when we need to render a particular uh, render means to display okay when we need to display a particular division or a section we need to display based on some values at that time we use null value like if this value is null then so this if this value contains some values then you can use like you can display the complete thing okay so and null is not every time we sh we can also add the values there like right now it is null that does not means in future every time it will be null like in late future there can be value so if anyone asking like a reverse question to you that uh, null will every time remain null you should answer no it will not remain based on our condition we can use that okay let's console it and check it once console log and i'll write x and y and in the index.html file i'll click on go live to see that page live and here to open that i will right click here and then click on inspect and i'll go to console to check it you can see the undefined is written first and the second is null that means our first value what variable we have defined is taken undefined and the second is null okay so it is proved so if you have any questions doubt you can write in the comment section if this video is interesting like this share with your friends and subscribe the channel that's all for today guys thank you for watching